What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Move the Six 360 series. I'm Daniel Jeremiah, joined as always by my partner, Bucky Brooks, and we have a special guest in here with us today, Clemson defensive end Shaq Lawson. What's up, Shaq? What's up? How y'all doing? Hey, let's address it right off the top here, Buck. I mean, I got to know what's going on with the jewelry here. Explain to me the pieces that you're working with right now. It's a strong set you've got here. <laughs> strong, strong got the set. Mr. T starter set right here. Oh, what yeah, what yeah. do we got? Oh, I just got a little couple chains, a little chain of a lion and an angel. Oh, there you go. Any significance to why the lion and the angel? Oh, uh, to do a uh, Christ. I'm real big on Christ, so that's why I wear, wear these. That's good. Some good-looking jewelry right there. Man. Oh. All right, what we like to do here in this series, Shaq, for those that haven't seen it, is we like to kind of ask you a couple questions off the top like we would in a combine interview room as two former scouts. Then we're going to show some video of you, and we're going to break your game down, all right? All good things, trust me. And then we're going to put some video up of a player at the next level, and we're going to make you scout a little bit and tell us what you see. All right, you good to go? Yes, sir. All right, let's first of all talk about kind of your journey. Uh, it's always interesting to hear the story, the background, how you ended up at Clemson in the first place. I know you were a highly, highly sought-after uh, recruit. Why did you end up choosing Clemson? Uh, I ended up choosing Clemson uh, a lot of reasons. Uh, reason my dad had passed away in 2011. And I feel like I needed to be a support staff to my brothers and sisters at that time. They was young at that age. And then, uh, and, and Clemson always have a defense uh, a line, a great defense line. They put a lot of players in the NFL. So they played a, a big role in my decision too. And thinking about that tradition, the tradition of producing defensive linemen, what is your biggest takeaway from playing at Clemson, that program, that tradition? What can you take from playing there that will help you have success in the league? Um. Uh. We we do the little things at Clemson, right? Um. Being early to meetings at five minutes early. Um. Always in the front row, uh, in classrooms and stuff like that. Just being on time, and I feel like that'll take a lot away. Um. It's just gonna help me prepare for the next le- uh, level. One of the things I always like to ask people. Actually, this is a question I stole from Ozzie Newsom when I was working with the Ravens. He would ask this to every player that came through. I always thought it was fascinating, but he he would say, "Okay, in life you're gonna have adversity. In the in the NFL you're gonna have adversity." Can you give me an example? What's the what's the toughest thing in your life you've had to overcome and, and be able to power through it and get through it? And what'd you learn from it? Um, I, I'll say uh, when my dad got killed in a car accident in 2011, um, I had to overcome a lot. Um, first, it was just hard. You know, you had to be a, a, a father figure and a brother at the same time for the uh, little kids we had, my brothers. So I just just had just help with that process the whole time and. And just, uh, I just still do it to this day, and and just just bless. I'm here and getting the opportunity to play football, and it's just helped me out um, a lot. And God just had a plan for it to happen that way, so it's just great to come out. So he's, he's a grown man. He, he's grown. a grown. He's a grown man. You're a grown man on the football field too, and that's what we want to jump in here, uh, Buck. I'm gonna let Bucky go and take over right now. We're gonna show some tape up here of your game, Shaq. It's all it's all good. Trust me. I'm gonna <laughs> yeah. let Bucky break you down and tell us uh, what you see here, Buck. You know, one of the things that I liked about you, Shaq, when I watched you play throughout your time at Clemson, I felt like you're a rare find at the position. You're a big physical guy who is capable of setting the edge versus the run but also has the hand quickness and the violence to be able to be an effective pass rusher. So when I watched you play off the edge, I felt like you could be a guy that could be a natural base defensive end, a guy that could come in, give me that stout presence as a run defender, but also flash and be a guy that can give me eight to ten sacks on the edges. What's the most – here's a question for you. What's the most underrated aspect of a pass rusher? You know, a lot of times we – okay, speed and power, those are easy things. What What's an underrated thing? I know it's one thing I'm thinking of that you have in your game, but is there anything that's underrated from the position when it comes to getting after the quarterback? Uh, I say something like my, my spin move. Uh, I'm, I'm, do, I'm very good at the spin move. A lot of people don't see that at all. Uh, if you watch my tape, I, I show it a lot. And I usually show it one time a game. Uh, I'm very I'm – very, I love that move. I yeah, love that move. That's a big-time move. But I'm going to even say just effort. There are so many times in the NFL, it's not a clean win, but if, you ne- if you're always charging and you never quit, you don't take a playoff, you're going you're gonna to get maybe not 10 sacks a year, but you're going to get three or four extras just off pure effort, and you play your butt off, man. Your effort is, is sky high. That's something I really enjoy watching about you. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yeah, I, I, I love watching the effort, and it's funny that you talked about the spin move because I think the big thing that separates the good from great guys at the next level – can they sequence and complement their moves? So you got a you got a speed rush, you have an inside counter, then you have a spin move. Do you know how to sequence those and those things? And so as you're studying guys, learning how to put those pitches together so you can come after people. Yes, sir. Right, we know you can play. Now the question is, can you scout? <laughs> All right, we're going to throw up some video. I think we got some Vaughn Miller for you here. Going to show some Vaughn Miller, and I want you to do some scouting here for us, Jack. You tell me what you see here from 58. Um, 
first they try to put a back over there, act like he blocked, uh, try to help him out. Uh, this game, uh, he just beat him off the ball. Uh, How about his hands? What do you see with his hands here once this gets rolling? He felt like he was going to bull, and then he just ripped underneath him, had to uh, tackle Lena all heavy. So he just ripped underneath him. When you talk about a tackle lean and heavy, explain that to the folks at home. When a tackle lean heavy, they, I mean, they leave him, lean forward. So you can work any kind of move with him. You can do a swim move over top, um, a rip, just like Von Miller did. So it's a lot of moves you can break down from a, a lean and tackle. So a lot of people don't think about when you're pass rushing, you're adjusting to what you see. So you can read that on that the fly. So as you're yeah. up moving up the field, you can see you, when you can tell when they lean it, yeah, because they got all their weight on you and right. they try to grab you. You're one for one. We're going to get another play. It's <laughs> good scouting right there. All right, this is against the Lions here. You just dent them. You got low on them. That's what you call running a uh, hoop when we do it at practice all the time. So for those that haven't seen it, they got this giant hula hoop. hoop. And you end up running around that thing, <laughs> right? Stuff. Oh, there you go. You got a little bit of that, too. <laughs> yeah, that's too extra right there. All right, let's do one more. Do we have one more play, guys? Can we do one more play? All right, one more play here. You're two for two. Let's two see what we two. got here. So we saw the under, the speed rush, then we got another one. Yeah, the Panthers had a rough one. He hit him with a long arm. So what do you mean by a long arm? Explain that to her, too. Um, he hit him with a long arm. I, I like to use this move a lot, too. It's just when you get in the tackle of the field, you run it, and you just put, it, put your hand in his throat. And then dead under them, deep underneath him. You can work a lot of moves. You can uh, long arm, swipe them, long arm, just dent them. It's just a lot of moves, a lot of moves you can do with a long arm. Explain the denim. Yeah, so when you say you long arm and swipe, and that's long arming. Yeah. And then you then you swipe you swipe mm -hmm. past them. Yes, sir. And then when you did them. Or you, you just did. You, you just did. Yeah. Get them. Yeah. Okay. There right. you go. That, that's that's some good stuff right that's there. Good stuff. So we learned a little bit today. Uh, we learned. First of all, we started with the jewelry, which is on point. Nice work by Shaq. We we watched some good Shaq, and then we got to see Shaq. Is, he's going to take our job one day, man. <laughs> Just play for a long time before you come sit in this studio and take our job. Promise me that, all right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, hey. <laughs> we appreciate you stopping by. This is, a, this is a fun series for us here, the Move the Six 360 series. That was Shaq Lawson. We've got a lot of the top players in the draft coming through this studio right here going to scout them and they're going to do some scouting themselves. You can check it out nfl.com slash podcast as well as YouTube.